Welcome to this new Mumbai Flex tutorial. We are going to learn how to compose an advertisement for a mobile phone. The first thing that we have to do is go to the Mumba Config Utility to set our configuration. I'm going to choose a full HD preset. Here we can set our auto save time. And if we go to the interface tab, we can choose between one or two monitors to work. I click OK. And I'm, I'm gonna start Mamba. Well, this is the Mamba's interface. Here we got the visual editor. On the top uh, left, uh, we got the notepad editor. And at the bottom of the screen, uh, we got the different tabs to control all the parameters and settings of our notes or projects. So, um, Let's create a new project. I'm going to click OK to this current project settings. And I'm going to call this one home app. OK. Here we can see our, our folder tree. So now we've got to import our material. We go to Mamba Media, select our material folder. Then I'm gonna import this pack transition. I change the name to this one. Then cast OS subsequence. Uh, import this pack transition mate. I'm gonna go to import, change the name. This one mate. And link as progressive. Now we need the screen. I'm gonna uh, select this screen still. Click on import, change the name to screen only, and link as progressive. And I need a background too, so I'm gonna click on City Street Day that this is the image that I'm gonna use. And I'm going to import it. I leave this file name and link the image. Here we go. Our base form, our made, the background, and the screen. Well, uh, let's start with our base form. I'm going to select both modes. And well, first I'm gonna double click one and see that there's no alpha inside and there's no alpha on the base for make clip. So let's um, select both modes, go to effects and add an external key. Okay, we just double click and we've got the base form uh, clip. That is uh, the input one with um, an alpha that is the base form mate. If you go to RGB. Okay. Um, the next step is to add a color gray to make a, to make a color correction. So let's go to the color gray, double click. I'm gonna change the vector one name to black and white. I'm gonna pick black and pick white. That's enough. And I'm gonna add a layer to make a chroma correction. I'm gonna click on fix it. Saturate it and give it a little more chroma. Okay, um, now um, we see that we got uh, a little bit of noise. So let's check the different channels. Here we can see it. And if we go to the blue, we will cut all the, all the noise. 
Okay, uh, this means that we have to add the uh, denoise. So let's uh, click on base form, go to infix, go to image, and click on denoise. Okay, we just double click on denoise. I'm gonna set the blue view to see all the noise. And let's set uh, our combined month and maybe five frames. We have some blur, but that's because of the the mobile phone rotation. We just have to check that there's no artifacts. And maybe setting yes, I'm gonna set uh, five frames. as our scope and go again to the RGB view well um, the the next thing that we have to do is to to connect the the series to the our background with our mobile phone so let's click on color gray and click on series three day go to effects and add a complete view. We just double click on it and change the input. So here we cut the mobile phone behind the background. Uh, sorry, in front of the the background, and let's uh, set the config parameters. I'm gonna set the resolution size as project. I'm going to select the background as input, as, as solid, sorry, and I'm going to add a layer. The next step is change the layer name one to uh, background and layer two to phone. Okay. Now we can see that we've got some white edges around our mobile phone so let's add an effect to correct uh, these edges let's go to alpha and add this effect we just double click on it and apply it to the rgba and now we're going to give it a radius around Sorry, there's no working because this is not the place. <laughs> We're going to add it to our base mate. Okay, now we go to the config. We one click on the uh, string uh, uh, effects and let's give it some radius around. 16. I think that that's enough. Uh, well, so the next step that we need to do is uh, to track uh, this chroma. So let's double click on 3D, go to effects, here, and click on green screen. We double click on this effects. Go to the alpha, pick out transparent, pick out solid, and here we got uh, <clears throat> here we can see that uh, we have a little mistake. This is a green button from the mobile phone, but uh, we are going to work on this later. So let's continue working. 
I'm gonna go to the RGB view again and let's add the screen to our mobile phone. So I'm gonna click on green screen and on screen node, go to effects and I'm gonna click on con on screen, click connect and organize this a little bit. Okay. <clears throat> if we double click on this com 3D, you can see that we've got the the screen behind the phone. But uh, we need this image inside the screen the, the screen of our mobile phone. So uh, we need to do a tracker. To do this tracker, we're going to go to track. Tracking uh, tab, uh, set the four trackers, open the search area, Okay, and we have to select the four uh, tracker point and then go to do tracking forward. We see that the path is not working correctly. We can fix this uh, just uh, selecting. Uh, a corner track and move it again. And helping us with the previous and next frame uh, tools, as we can see. Okay, but I'm not going to work with this path, so I'm going to delete it. This too, and now I'm gonna save uh, load uh, a path uh, that I've got from a uh, previous uh, compo. So I'm gonna go to the output the folder and open it. Here we can see that the path is working correctly in this in this case. So let's uh, apply the um, the track. I'm gonna select the four tracked points. Double click on this uh, country D. First, I'm gonna save it. I'm going to change the name to screen layer to to phone and let's select screen apply to corner pin and apply move and here we've got the our animation you can see that there's no working so let's fix this little problem. Go into the screen layer, open the corner parameters, and here we can see that we've got uh, our animation inside the offset parameters. So let's copy from offset, paste in tracker, and delete them from offset. And now here we go. Now uh, the tracking is working correctly. <clears throat> well, uh, we can try to make uh, some fake crystal to our screen. So let's 
uh, disconnect this node temporarily and go to effects create a solid double click set color i'm gonna give it a gray color just around 80 go to effects add a noise node and I'm gonna create some stripes and animate them. Okay. And here we can see the, the little animation. Well, um, and now we're going to, to uh, add this noise as the alpha channel from this clip, so, uh, so from this solid. So let's set both and go to external cave. And here we can we go to alpha. Here we got our noise. Well, um, now it's time to add some blue to this noise. I'm gonna double click, select the DDR, give it a radius around 25. And connect the Gauss node with the screen. Gonna add a quantity, change the input, sorry, go to the RGB, set the input, the input correctly, and go to screen, connect. Organize this a little bit. Yeah. And I'm gonna set this country D node. And it's okay. I'm gonna that solid, add a layer. Change the name to screen. For this layer, um, press done. And I'm gonna open it and play with the attributes blend. Set it around. Twenty. Twenty is enough, I think. Okay, and if I just double click on the final compo, here we can see our screen with the crystal or glass glass um, inside the mobile phone, and we have to fix. Uh, the last problem that is uh, the green button. So let's um, work on this. We first uh, need to duplicate the base form. We're gonna press Alt button and I'm gonna duplicate this color gray too. Well, uh, here we got the base, a mobile phone, and I'm gonna connect it to our color grade uh, correction. But here we have to delete this chroma correction to have the real bottom of this color grade. So let's uh, double click on base phone, 
go to shape, create a shape. Okay, I'm gonna select the whole vertex. Go to alpha, select add as input alpha invert. Um, select add and go again to the RGB. Let's click Auto Key to animate this shape. And I'm going to animate it. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Um, and finally, we have to click on color grade, go to effects on it and set this input as input 3 double click on complete D and here we got our composition with the green screen working correctly so uh, let's uh, make a render we just double click on complete D go to output Click on movie, select our, our format file. I'm gonna choose MPH4, uh, give it a name, phone add render, and to render. <clears throat> and here we got our render node with the final result. And if we go to the media folder, the Mamba media folder, go to phone add movies, and just double click this move, we can see the final result clip. So, uh, to hear this tutorial, if you have any question, just uh, feel free to ask me. I will be pleasure to uh, help you if I can and thanks, thanks uh, for watching.